Hello, Chris Grimman, Omaha Insurance Solutions. So we're in 2017 and the changes that Medicare announced right there at the end of the year are taking effect. And probably among all the different things, when you talk about Medicare, uh, where I get the most phone calls, it has to do with the Medicare Part D. D is in drugs. And so Medicare Part D prescriptions, you probably are aware, or if not, I'll let you know the deductible went up. It went up from $350 in 2016 to $400. And so the way the deductible works is you pay the first $400 on your medications, then the co-pays that are set up in your prescription drug plan, your Part D plan, then those apply. Now, people are kind of upset, of course, because the higher deductible. And right now, we're talking in January, people are feeling the pain of that Part D deductible, that $400 they're paying. Sometimes people say, well, I want to get a plan that doesn't have a deductible. And there's some that have, or don't have rather, that deductible. But then what ends up happening is that then they take that $400, they space it out over in the various co-pays on the medications you purchase. Or sometimes what happens is on some of the plans, that deductible only applies on your your tier three and four medications, your, your higher cost, your, your name brand medications. So in, in that way, that's how they're able to spread out uh, the effect of that $400 deductible, the increase uh, that we've had this year. The key thing when you're looking at your prescription drug plan isn't one individual medication, isn't even looking at that deductible or some of the co-pays, but to look at the whole thing. And the way you're able to do that is by using the calculator that they have on the Medicare.gov website. An experienced agent should be able to help you with that. Put all your medications in there. And the key is what do you spend in total? Not on a particular medication, not at a certain time uh, of the year, but in total, what do you end up spending out of your pocket, whether for premium or co-pays or both. That is the key number to be aware of. Now, that's not the only number. Because, for example, let's say you're turning 65 in the middle of the year, in July or August. Now, that's when you want to consider this deductible. If you're going to have a deductible, $400, you're going to end up paying it right away and then turn right around uh, six, five, four, three months later and pay that deductible again. Well, uh, it may make sense to pick a plan where there isn't a deductible. Pay higher co-pays, yes, but you'll end up saving money quite often by that sort of strategy. But the only way to do it is to take those medications, put them through the calculator, and you can see, they put a nice bar graph together, and you can see what your cost would be for the whole year, for the different months and the quarters, based upon your medications, and then you can figure out the best plan in terms of your prescription drugs. But beware, that deductible did go up. A lot of people are finding that out, even though they may have read it or heard about it. It went from $350 up to $400, uh, and that will affect what you end up paying in January. Chris Grimman, Omaha Insurance Solutions. You want help with your medications? Running that calculator certainly can do that. Give us a call at 402 614 3389. Chris Grimman, Omaha Insurance Solutions.